I've been up all night playing Helldivers with a friend. And because of that, my brain is seriously lacking a lot of willpower. So I thought, what would be the perfect tank to review? Well, it's right in front of me. The Object 268 version 4. This is mostly the most brain dead tank in tier 10. Why? Well, mainly down to the fact that this vehicle's armor is a little stupid. Frontally, the Object 268 version 4 is pretty impenetrable for most rounds. Even gold, unless obviously it's a tank destroyer. But heat shells from heavies, mediums, light tanks are not going to cut through you frontally unless they either hit the hatch or they know specific weak spots. Like the upper plate is about 320 millimeters effective on flat ground. So if you do drive a 113 or a 5A, you can obviously cut through the upper plate at certain angles. But if I'm using gun depression or angling it properly, well, it's still going to be a very tricky tank to cut through. When you pair that with the fact the V4 is very mobile, it has stupid good damage per shot at 650, paired with pretty solid accuracy. I mean, the gun's not accurate, obviously, but it's a frontline tank destroyer, which means that you're not going to have to worry as much about the accuracy as you would in another tank because you're not going to be camping in the V4. You're going to be playing at frontline. You're going to be absolutely bonking your opponents. So hopefully we're going to be able to get into a battle uh, somewhat shortly here and we're going to just absolutely brain dead our way to victory. We find ourselves arriving on Tundra, which is an alright map. What do we have up against us? A mouse, ooh, two Jagdpanzers. Those are actually scary because this tank's armor is good, but obviously against something like a Jagdpanzer, you're going to have to be a little bit cautious. DPM-wise, we're sitting at around 3,000, which is good. Again, nothing incredible. Even mediums can have upwards of 4,000 DPM if properly quit equipped. But we have a lot of capabilities, and I think we should be able to do quite good in this game. So we're going to head over towards flat ground, and that's obviously because the V4 does not have much gun depression to work with. It's a fairly slow tank, and, well, it's not slow. I mean, it goes 40. I could run a turbo to make it go faster, but it's not the speed. It, I just meant the gun depression. As I said, I'm very sleep deprived, so my brain right now, it's running on fumes, but those fumes are going to allow us to get a lot of damage. We have 360 mils of heat pen. We got 290 of the standard. We should have plenty of pen to cut through our opponents here. We got the 705 in front, and we're going to keep on going. Now, with the V4, I can play very aggressive. And not only that, but our hatch is on the good side. So it's going to be a little bit easier for me to angle it here and get some bonks into our opponents. So there you go. We have the Chieftain Proto spotted. We have the Yo. And we have my 705 kind of getting in my way. But it's all right. We got an easy pen to start the game off with. And what are we going to do? Well, we have a faster reload due to our close combat buff. The Yo bounces me. And bonk. What? 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 What was that game? That made no sense. That's a classic Ouija moment there, just saying, ah, you have an easy shot, not on my watch. Well, we reload and not able to hit the yo, but if we back up and we try it again, there you go. That's a bit better. Well, we've already blocked 1700 damage this game, which is pretty impressive, judging that I've literally done nothing but sit in the open and shoot at people. Well, let's try it again. Let's roll around the corner. Hello, Chieftain. How are you doing? Uh, bonk. There you go. I don't know why our first shot didn't end up penning him, but that's a bit better. 1,800 damage dealt, and, well, we've already managed to clear an enemy tank. The VK gets a pen out. We do have the Jagdpanzer, which misses me. We miss him as well, so I guess that's a bit unfortunate, but I don't really care. We're chilling. Mouse gets bled again, and let's see. I'm going to aim it on the mouse turret. Aiming, aiming, aiming. Oh, yeah, obviously we can see the gun on the V4. Not the most accurate. Like, this is not a tank you're going to be hitting every shot you fire in. But who cares? It's not like I'm going to be penned. All right, well, there you go. Stritzvon bounces me. We have the mouse in the back as well. Ooh, there's the enemy Stritzvon aiming, aiming, aiming. Oh, half of his health. Bye-bye. Now we're up to 2,500 damage so far, which is pretty good. We've blocked 2,500 as well, which is also pretty good. Stritzvon gets absolutely demolished. We have the mouse in front. Not able to hit that just yet. We also have the yo. 
And we're just going to wait here. And ooh, there you go. Thank you, Mr. Yo. 700 HP off your tank. All right. Well, the Panzer Kampfwagen 7 ends up missing that shot. We're just going to aim it on the mouse. And let's see. Three, two, one. Ooh. I need to. My sense is still too high. That was on me. Uh, you can see that, like, uh, the problem is I have my sense properly equipped on World of Tanks Blitz, but on PC, it's just a teeny bit off, and because of that, I miss some easy shots every now and then. I mean, that one we hit. Where is this mouse penning me? I'm very confused. I know he can't overmatch my engine neck. Ah, he's penning me in the upper plate. Okay, well, oh well. We have the Udes in the back, and... Ooh, bonk! Nice! 594! It was a low roll, but a pen. As I said, the upper plate of this vehicle, it's good, but it definitely has some weaknesses that you're going to have to keep in mind. Well, the Ag's dead. <laughs> We're up to 4,400 damage. Yeah, I'll have to mess with my sense a bit. It's still a teeny bit too high. A little bit too high for me. But I think once I get it right, I'll be in a pretty solid state. But yeah, uh, that's the V4. I mean... We literally just got away with frontlining. I was a little worried about people aiming at my hatch, but the Chieftain never did, neither did the Yo, and, uh, well, I, we just got a free dub, really. They have one Artie, which is a boss shot to own, who is spotted. I don't think we're going to get any damage into his tank, judging that, well, every single player shooting at him. We don't even have the opportunity to hit him to begin with. All right, well, uh, we have seen the Kunzpanzer is spotted in the back at some point. But at this current time frame, I'm just going to move on up. We go 40, and that's pretty mobile, to be honest. I mean, we're getting there. And I'm hoping our team doesn't cap the base, because really only lame people cap the base when this is such an easy win. Well, we have the E4, and I'm hoping that the E4 backs up, and he does. Boom, 667. Thank you very much, good sir. VZ bounces me. Not like you were ever going to pen me to begin with. Well, let's aim it on the E4 again. Three, two, one. Oh, you bounced me, darn. Well, might as well aim it on the flat side of the IS-7. If our team's going to keep capping that base, I might as well keep on farming. Well, we're up to 5,700 for a game that has required a total of two brain cells we have 20 seconds left and uh well i'm just gonna move up we got the vz showing me his flat side bonk 671 putting us up to 6500 damage and there's only one tank left that i really care about which is the vz 55 come here vz i'd like to get a shell well maybe not uh, uh maybe not I, I mean this was an incredibly easy battle and it shows you why the V4 is just so stinking, in my opinion, overpowered. As a player who likes to play aggressive, this is a tank that gets away with that playstyle. The level of armor, the level of penetration and mobility, all added into this small little pile of a box. I mean, that was just such an easy farm. And yeah, the accuracy is not the best, but it's not obviously bad either. 0.33 is good enough to get the job done. And it definitely got the job done in that battle. Yes, I get it, Wargaming. I got a bunch of awards. Somehow we got a first class for that game. We even earned 42,000 credits spamming gold. Welcome to World of Tanks. Well, uh, one thing I do want to very quickly do is go to my settings and change my sensitivity in controls. You can see how low it already is, but I guess I need to make it just a teeny bit lower. We'll see if that works. The problem is the lower you make it, the more sensitive it gets. So there's a very fine line I've been trying to work with there. But let's try one more game with the V4. And uh, hopefully it goes just as well as the first one. I don't think we're going to get a 6,000 damage farm. But uh, I do think that will do pretty good still. Well, we arrive on Mountain Pass, which is an okay map. To be honest, I usually make my way over to Bypass, but I think that because of our gun depression, it's going to be more beneficial if we actually go to the Glacier. So we're going to see how that works out for us. We got a 60 TP, BZ-75, U100, Rhino-57 heavy up against us, and I almost had a burp. There you go. Now I don't have to. <laughs> I'm really losing my mind, guys. My brain is absolutely cooked from uh, from sleep deprivation. All right, well, let's head over here and uh, use that speed. The thing that I like about the V4 is that it has a pretty solid power-to-weight ratio, so we're chilling at 40, and that's nice. I mean, we're going about the same speed as the AMX and the E5, and the V4, I mean, speed is obviously important, but 
really reverse speed is one of the more important values I look at. If my tank can reverse quickly, then I'm happy. And this tank does reverse quickly, so I don't really worry too much. All right, well, let's head all the way over here. And we got an STB. I'm not, why is there an STB here? I'm so, what? Why would you? I'm very confused on that thought process. Oh, that's a lot of tonks. Well, we do get a pen into the enemy 268 version 5. Oh, but he cuts right through my upper plate. Man, it's very annoying that people can cut through the upper plate of this tank. Wow. Oh, we're already down a thousand health. That kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, well, let's see if we can get a little bit better luck, I guess, right? I don't know. So far, our, so far, our, yeah, so far, our armor is not working as well. Oh, we're spotted. No, 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 no. But yeah, we got penned once in the upper plate, and I'm not sure the other... Ah, in the lower... Man, we got penned in both of the spots that so you don't want to be hitting the uh, the the uh, Tonker. All right, let's aim it on that E100, and nice! There you go. The accuracy did what we needed it to do, and got that shell right on into the enemy. All right, well, we reload again. Got a couple seconds left. Yag, oh my god, absolutely obliterated that 268 version 5. And, yeah, yeah, who's the one getting shot in the weak spot now, buddy boy? You are! <laughs> Alright, well, Rhino makes a very aggressive play, and I'm surprised because that is a very aggressive play. Alright, let's chill right here, and... Ooh, he's close. I'm just gonna push up, to be honest. I don't see much of a reason not to at this point. We do see the Progetto and some other tanks on the side here. Maybe I can help out with that a little bit. I'm a little cautious though as always um well, we got the 57 heavy in the back aiming aiming oh are we not spotted i'm very confused I, I feel like we're spotted but i didn't see a light bulb pop up at all interesting all right well oh okay classic classic moment of my rng there uh, all right well the 57 heavy is missing me which is obviously pretty good oh but he does pen one shot Oh man, everything's trying to shoot me right now. And my luck shot me in the foot. I cannot believe we missed that 57 Heavy. We can see while the V4 does have pretty good armor, the problem is we're just not in a spot to use that armor. We're kind of caught out in the open here, and it's putting me in a real awkward position. So I'm going to back up, actually. I was going to try and move in and support my teammate, but I don't really see much of a reason to do that when, well... It's not going too well for me. I mean, we're up to 1,700, which isn't awful, but it's not a lot. Hmm. Well, we got the T92 sitting in the back. Our E5 gets a nice shell into that player, and 14 SP2. I'm just keeping an eye on everything going on right now. Well, for now, I guess we wait here. I'm keeping an eye really where that 57 Heavy was, because I feel like at some point he's going to make a poke, right? He's gotta, he's gotta make a poke there at some point. But for now, I guess we just kind of wait. The Rhino's getting shot by Artie. Oh, but our AMX gets nuked. That's really unfortunate. I could load an HE shell um, to try and clear the Rhino, but I think our Yag honestly has that covered. I'm gonna st stick with standard for now and we'll see what happens. The other side of the map, our team is winning. We still have the STB, so. We're not completely alone here. I'm going to load gold, though. I know I'm swapping all my ammo left, right, and center, but I want to guarantee these pens. Unfortunately, that one did not go close to where I wanted it to. All right, well, we chill, we reload, and the 26A version 5 misses our Yag. All right, well, move back up, and we wait. So let's see. Will that 26A version 5 poke it again? Well, it wouldn't surprise me if the artillery tried shooting him. Ooh. Oof, that's not very good. We got the Rhino over here now. And I can't... Oh, we're spotted. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my rat. This is not This is not good. This is not good. Our Yag is... Uh, well, it's just not going well. That's really all there is to say. This is not going the way I want it to. The problem is our camo values just are not great in this tank. And when you pair that with the fact that the... Ooh, that's pretty good, though. When you pair that with the fact that that Fosh is just nuking us from the back, it's not going great. Our Yag got cleared. Um, well, yeah, this is not a not a good situation we're in right now. 
wonder if I back up here, if this gives me a little bit of cover. It might. It might. We can see that, again, our team is winning the other flank of the map. So, while it's not going great here, we are still winning this side of the map, which is rather important. We do have a BZ-75 and Lion, which are in our spawn for some reason, but I'm not really too worried about that. I think we can help out, see if we can get some damage. But man, we have not done anything. The V4, as much as I wanted it to be brain dead, just we got penned in our upper plate, we got penned in our lower plate by multiple different shells. Unfortunately, the enemy team just had more accurate tanks and was able to get the job done. So, let's see. I would assume that that BZ-75 is somewhere right over here. And I don't understand how he's not spotted yet, because the 405's right there and the boss shot Tion's right there, but weird. All right, well, let's move up. He's got to be literally right around this corner. So that's exactly where we're going to move. Keep on going, keep on going. And where is the BZ? There he is. Hello. Oof, 736. That's got to hurt a lot. <laughs> oh, great. Here comes. Ooh. Ooh, 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 you little Rattler McGee trying to ruin my fun in the arty. It's crazy how that player snapped the moment I got spotted. Oh, oh, we got another. Oh, you're trying. You're trying, buddy, but you suck. That's all I got. I hate arty players. Everything about arty just gets me so mad. So anytime an arty player misses me, it makes me so happy. Oh, look at that. Missing again. El Bozo. I'm also a little confused on... Ooh. Oh, I'm spotted. Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't have said El Bozo, because I might be the one getting bozoed here in a moment. I was wondering how our E5 did get detected, because it was a little odd to me, but now it makes a little bit more sense. E5 has the 57 Heavy in his view, and what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to try and climb up this hill. I don't actually know if I can, but it's worth a shot, right? Why not? I normally don't ever climb up this spot because there's no reason to, but yeah, you can. Okay, I thought you could get up this. Let's see. The Fosh was last spotted over here, and am I detected? No. Okay. Oh, I'm going to move up myself. He got shot at, and keep on going, keep on going. Oh, no. Ooh, we're not dead. Okay, that's actually huge. That is actually huge. I thought we would be dead. I thought we spotted the Fosh for a second, but actually it's the 114. Well, we do, I'm hoping, get a pen in that 114. We back up. The 114 does not have much armor, so realistically, we can quite easily cut through that tank. And, oh, 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 okay, well the 114 bounces me. Alright, well, I'm going to move up then, if I have the opportunity to. Again, camo values on this tank are not very good, and we've been seeing that here. Like, I'm getting penned everywhere and it's it's rather sad let's just back up yes 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 oh come over here 114 what are you doing i don't know if we're gonna uh survive this but i don't really care i don't really care we brought him down to 15 health and we we honestly had a pretty good result there that's a dub because we still have a full health 405 the enemy fosh is pretty healthy but doesn't matter that much when we have the super conqueror so at the end of the day it's just gonna be a win i'm not sure why the super conk's so scared of the fosh judging that it's literally been typed in chat the fosh only has two shots left but yeah this is a dub so i really can't uh i can't get all too sad about it well i guess i'll uh i'll be back when we actually see the post game results well, we did end up winning this game, but it was a lot closer than it should have been. Our 4005 and Super Conquer, um, well, our, our Super Conk allowed a Fosh, which was a one-shot to full clip him and died to him. And then the, uh, the 4005 died to a 15 health 114 SP2, even though 114 had literally, uh, just uh, even a splash near him would have killed him. But our 4005 decided that he was going to run around circles with the 114 instead of just waiting for the RD to splash him for 15 or whatever. The game literally gave me some major brain rot. Massive throws from our teammates. But somehow, I did top on the team with 4400 damage dealt. And, uh, well, I actually had to use my brain a bit. I didn't want to. As I mentioned before, I'm brain dead right now. I'm not really thinking the way I normally would be. And, uh, well, we had some pretty good results, actually. My aiming felt better. I changed my sense a teeny bit, and it actually felt a little bit better. 
Although my RNG didn't feel that good when aiming it on the enemy T-57 Heavy. That was, uh, that was quite tragic, if I'm gonna be entirely honest. Well, the V4, it's a really strong tank, but the problem we had there was everybody managed to hit our weak spots. As I said, the upper plate of this tank is a weak spot if you have over 320 mils of pen, depending on what angle it is. And the problem was my tank was kind of on a little bit of a downhill slope because of the way the hill was designed. Not only that, but I also got shot like three times in the lower, lower plate, which is the other weak spot. Nobody hit me in the actual spot that I was hoping they would. So because of that, we didn't get many bounces. We, to be fair, still did bounce a decent amount. The enemy 114 bounced me, and we got a lot of damage out for how quick that game felt. But yeah, I wish I didn't bleed as much health early game, and I would have been able to do a lot better late game. What is the camo values of this tank? They must be really bad. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. That's not, not great. 30% while stationary, 20% while moving. And that's while running camo net on every single slot when it comes to this tank. And buffing the camo of this vehicle as much as I can as well. So, uh, yeah. This tank just doesn't really have that camo value. You need to use it frontline if you want to be able to hit your shots, if you want to be effective. But we were effective. Both games we played in it, so I got no complaints. The V4 is the ultimate brain-dead vehicle, and if you want to be able to play aggressive, you want to be able to just rush, this is the tank for you. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye